Hi, I'm Ray with Crafted by Ray, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this Christmas tree. I've been seeing them all over, and I'm going to show you how I make it, and I'll have all the measurements in the description below. Okay, I just want to say that I got all the material um, figured out for making this. It's all machined down to two and a half inches wide. So everything on here except the star is two and a half inches wide. So either you can use any board to make this I ripped it on the table saw and it's all um, my stock is 5 8 but a lot of people are using like 3 quarter it depends what you have on hand this is what I had on hand but I'm gonna start cutting the pieces the first piece I'm gonna cut is the back that runs up um, holds the whole tree together and that measures out at 29 and a sixteenth Okay, all the pieces I just cut, let's use this one as a demonstration, are all the straight easy cuts that are always consistent. Now the next cut I'm going to do is I got to cut four pieces to make the feet for this. So that's the one I'll cut next and then we'll start assembling it. Um, well I'm going to sand it first, but then I'll start assembling it. I'll show you the jig I made um, to replicate this and um, start assembling it and then when we do this cut this is where it gets a little tricky and I'll show you when we get to that point. I just want to say if you have not yet already please consider subscribing. Um, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Give it a like, share the video. I hope this one goes good at the next craft show. I'll let you guys know. I think I'm going to sell them for about 50 bucks but let's uh, finish putting this uh, wrapped Christmas tree together. Okay now I'm gonna show you the jig and I just want to say that some of the spaces are all 35 millimeters for each size of the part of the tree which I'm using type on three because I'm hoping people will place these on their porches outside. I'm gonna clear them with a um, exterior clear coat and see if they'll if that's more appealing to people like a porch side type thing. But we'll see what happens. Now for this part, once I get them all complete like this, all I'm going to do is take another piece, match the corner to that corner, and the corner to this one rail, take my pencil, trace that out. And then I'll find those angles on the chop saw and cut them out. So I'm going to go through, trace all these really quick, and we'll go cut them up. I'm 
Okay, so I cut all these ones on the chop saw, but for the last one, the angle's so sharp, like this one, I'm gonna cut it on the bandsaw. Okay, I just want to say it's getting uh, working on these pretty late tonight, but as I showed you guys how to trace out the back, it didn't occur to me that you could just lay it upside down. I put a spacer up here to help hold it straight, and then I could lay it down and get my angles that way. So you want to make this corner angle is sharp point is down here at the start of your piece, and the flush with the top of this one, that gives it that nice ribbon effect. Okay, this is the end of the uh, video. I just want to let you know, I put three coats of lacquer on there, spray lacquer. It's my favorite. I'll have a link of that in the description in case you want to use it. It is indoor and outdoor um, lacquer, so it's pretty easy to use. I also laser graved my information on here so people know where to find me, which is really easy to do. On um, my last video, I was trying out a laser engraver, so I'll put that in the link too. Now, I just want to say thanks for watching my video, share, give it a like, and subscribe if you have not yet already, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time with another Crafted by Ray video.